Hey there, YouTube. Um, so first I want to make an announcement um, real quick. Um, I was offering uh, uh, to uh, those of you who could not afford like spiritual, uh, could not afford readings that were um, uh, spiritually based that you wanted to know like about your spiritual journey uh, or like those shadow aspects of yourself. I was offering up to two people a month um, to um, be eligible uh, to to potentially get one of those spots each month. However, um, last week, um, you know, I was sick. I was in the ER and uh, I had... Um, uh, last weekend approved uh, one of my subscribers here to um, get one of those spots uh, to focus on their uh, spiritual journey, their shadow work. Um, and it's done like in my free time because it is something extra that I do to really help those that are in need. And um, apparently it wasn't done fast enough for this particular subscriber's liking and um, attacked my character. And um, so I have decided that because of that, that um, I'm unfortunately at this time right now, I'm not gonna offer those. However, I'm still going to choose uh, one free winner a month that is a subscriber um, that is liking and commenting. But um, understand though that um, because my paid readings of course come first, that um, I will get it and to it within an, an appropriate amount of time. Like I'm not gonna leave you hanging forever. Um, usually my free readings are done uh, within, you know, three to seven days. Um, and my paid readings uh, are always done like if you get a pre-recorded reading those are done within 24 to 72 hours and if you do like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, video call session those are done uh, at the agreed appointment time uh, so um, I do want to you know put that out there and let you guys know because um, I feel like I was um, have been taken advantage of and um, personally attacked, and so I do need to protect my energy. So from now on, um, or not from now on, but just for a little while until um, I get my strength back up, I'm not going to be doing uh, the um, the two free readings for those that cannot afford a spiritual based reading um, at least for the uh, the rest of the month of March uh, and then um, once uh, we get past March uh, and I get my strength back up um, I will be offering uh, two spots or I, and I will let you guys know so those of you who cannot afford and you genuinely cannot afford a um a spot or you cannot afford a reading um at, based on like spiritual journey i'm not gonna give away like free readings for like is my person gonna come back to me or anything like that like you have it, it needs to be um based on your spiritual journey and like um really wanting to investigate like um those uh, uh darker aspects of yourself so that you can bring them to light so that you can heal those things uh and i have room for at least two of those a month um so um but unfortunately because of that experience uh with that particular subscriber um i i'm just going to have to hold off on offering those um for the rest of the month so um however like of course i'm still open for um for readings if you want to to um, purchase a reading um and those fill up quick so um and i do stay well so i don't want to like continue on that i i just want to 
um, to let you guys know that those of you who have genuinely wanting like spiritual advice from your spirit guides and you can't afford it um, please check back in with me next month and again I will announce it here on my YouTube channel when I'm open to taking those again and again there are two spots a month available but um, I just want to let you know that um, that's why um, I'm not offering those right now at least for the rest of March uh, until I'm you know get my strength up and get um, you know a few things personal things taken care of while I'm working on the paid readings so um, okay there's enough time on that I will put uh, it, as soon as I remember because when I start channeling I may forget um, when I upload the video but as soon as I remember I will put the start time of the reading in either the description box or the comments so um, for those of you who don't know me hi my name is winter and I am claircognizant clairvoyant clairsentient and clairaudient and I use those gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards and I've been studying uh, cards teaching myself um, and studying tarot for several years now and um, and so I use those knowledge with my gifts and abilities to channel messages from spirit to you. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, the My email address will be in the description box. And I also want to say thank you so, so very much to those of you who have sent tips and donations and have told me to go get coffee. Um, you absolutely mean the world to me. And because of those tips and donations, I was finally able to purchase a better chair to do my readings in so I can, cause I spend so much time um, sitting here doing readings. Um, and the chair that I have that I'm so very grateful to at least have this chair. It's time now to um, to upgrade chairs. <laughs> and I finally got one yesterday and I'm so excited about that. And um, I'm going to find someone to donate this chair to um, because it's, um, you know, still grateful to have it. And I know that there will be somebody else out there that would be grateful, just as grateful to have this chair. So, okay. <clears throat> probably someone local because it would just cost too much to like ship it so alrighty so this is just going to be like a, a check-in on like what's the news what's going on around you that you need to be aware of and um, I also have another reading that I'm going to be uploading so you guys watch out for that one um, I've been trying to upload it but every time I go to upload it it's just taking forever so I um, I stopped the upload in order to get this one uploaded um, and I guess it's just divine timing so spirit is not ready for that message to come out but when it does come out um, uh, I will put in the description box that that's the one that was taking so long. So when it does come out, I know it'll be the perfect time. Uh, so let's go ahead. If you guys want to set your intention, you can. We're going to use the singing bowl to clear out the energy for myself and yourself and to call in our spirit teams. And there is no time and space between us. So when you watch this, it is the perfect time for you. And um, your, your guides will communicate with you at that time. So if it's in your highest good. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and begin. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels. Thank you, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Galactic Ancestors, 
spirit guides, higher light beings, for the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here and you know who they are, spirit. I thank you for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading for myself and the collective. Thank you for allowing everyone involved in this reading to feel safe and loved. I thank you for accurately and clearly allowing me to see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today. Thank you for using all of the cards that you guide me to use as tools to communicate, to bring forth clarity, insight, guidance, validation, confirmation, information, wisdom, and or knowledge that comes from love. Thank you for using and enlightening the cards, the tools with clear and easy to understand honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so um, I'm gonna use like uh, these What's the Tea cards. Or sorry, they're not What's, they're um, well, they're kinda, yeah, they're What's the News. So kinda the same thing. Well, I ended up grabbing uh, my Prophecies of Love deck. <laughs> Maybe there's someone here that wants to know, like, what's in store for love. Um, or, like, what's going on with love. Or, like, what comes next in your love life. Uh, if that's you, let me know. Ooh, Look, and then as soon as I split the deck, um, I've got Undying Love. So you could be dealing with um, uh, a love situation. Some of you actually even have like someone that is trying to copy you, trying to be you. Okay. Um, and I just heard a karmic situation where this person is trying to be like you. Look not really into her she's in love with me so there's someone i feel like you guys could be dealing with um a person okay and this male or female but you um so if you're male you could actually be the one that is with uh, a female that um you're not really into that isn't comparing to your divine feminine okay um or however it resonates um and, and it doesn't have to be an actual feminine uh, female that you're with. It's just someone that is in that divine feminine role. Okay. And others of you, like your, your divine masculine, male, female, doesn't matter. But your divine masculine um, is with um, a karmic that, um, that that divine masculine is not really into. And she may actually be trying to copy you, trying to be like you. Um, but look trying to block you out so um you uh could be dealing with someone who tries to like push you away tries to block you out but then at the same time it's kind of like you see how they're kind of like peeking through their arms so it's like they're still kind of peeping trying to see what you're up to but it but um trying to pretend like they're not trying to pretend like they're um, blocking you out. I see someone too that um, is looking at you and thinking that that you and them should be together as well. So sorry about the dogs barking, you guys. Too many cars look hospital visit. 
and I literally was just at the hospital. Some of you may be um, also have just um, had like a doctor's visit or an ER visit or um, uh, you're dealing with someone who just had like a, a doctor's visit or an ER visit. I just heard I see them everywhere. And then we've got lit the F up. I'm seeing someone's words that trigger the others. So the two of you may actually trigger each other or it's like trigger each other's fears or insecurities. So there's, um, and I, I just heard front of me too. So this could even be like a, a a friend, you and this friend maybe trigger each other or like a fake friend that tries to trigger one another. Front of me situation. See, look. Um, with the beef and it feels like uh, a fake friend or like a frenemy type situation, but I only take uh, single jumping cards. Dealing with someone too that's got you effed up, like they don't understand that you've got it like that with spirit, you know, that you are a divine chosen one and they, um, they got you effed up. They don't really, look. Could be dealing with someone who is um, got a lot of issues, acts crazy. Look again, see, got you all effed up. You could be dealing with a dude that, or like not necessarily a dude, but dealing with a romantic situation where um, this person has got you effed up. Like they think that you. Um, they think that they can like break your heart. They think that they can um, uh, mistreat you. They think that they can talk to you any way that they want um, because they got you all effed up. Okay. Spirit, can you expose Look, there's someone that's fake supporting you. Oh my God, those of you, you're dealing with someone who's actually sending you the evil eye and fake supports you. Like they really don't, they may say good job or um, that's so wonderful, but all the while, like they're just mean mugging, okay? Like they really don't want you to be successful. What is this not really in the heart? Spirit, too many cards, but I will look at them. Okay, an ex hater will reach out and try to reconcile with you, and then um, uh, the winds will alert you when spell work is being done against you. So, like, look, um, it could just be um, where it's just perfectly peaceful outside. There's no wind blowing. And then all of a sudden a big gush of wind just comes and maybe gives you goosebumps or there's like a, a really windy, windy day. And, um, and that is like spirit is trying to let you know that there's spell work um, being done against you, but I just heard will backfire. So whoever's doing spell work against you or sending you the evil eye, you are very protected and it is going to backfire onto them. Okay. Um, look, if you're dealing with some fake, some fake A friends, okay. Look, their evil intentions will fail that's exactly what I was picking up too. That's what I heard. I heard will backfire and their spirit confirming the, what I actually heard. So the, yeah, this is someone that is close to you. Someone in your immediate circle could be dealing with also some of you could be dealing with someone in the healthcare field. I'm feeling because I did see the ER visit. Okay. Um, 
You could also to be dealing with someone that is the, those of you who are dealing with like, you get like heart palpitations or high blood pressure. It is because you're energetically picking up on this person's two-faced energy or even narcissistic energy. This person is going to expose themselves. They can't stay hidden, but for so long. I'm seeing someone that got involved with another person based on finances alone. And because of that, um, they're going to lose everything. It's going to backfire. Their intentions will backfire. Look, where we got their intentions will backfire and we've got their finances will perish. So that's the thing is there's someone that you're dealing with that either got into a relationship with you because of finances or they are messing with someone else because of finances. But this person's not really into this other person. So if you're with someone and you feel that this person is only with you because of finances, then understand that you're going to see that you'll know that this is this person um, why they really got involved with you because you'll see that they'll have some sort of job loss or their finances will start trickling away. You know, they'll their finances will start to diminish. That's how they're going to be exposing themselves, okay? That's how you will know that they're with you because of this. And if they are with, if your person, your ex-person is with someone because of finances, it then uh, or left you to be with someone because of finances or or married the person they're with because of finances it's going to backfire and they're going to lose everything it, those of you those who were um stolen from like if someone um stole from you or even if it was like legally they legally um, stole from you or like got over on you in some form or fashion they're going to be the ones to lose out because they, um, it's like they use the law to make you a victim. I don't know where that came from, but that just came out. That's for, that's very specific for someone. See, This person doesn't want you to have love. You're dealing with someone who do, who is trying to block you from having relationships. This person is trying to block love out of your life. This person does not want you um, or people do not want you to be... Um, loved or adored either like within your personal connections or like at work but like they um they want you to be in a place of of chaos and turmoil you may also for those of you who are um uh spiritually gifted well we all are but like you have strong spiritual gifts or or your spiritual gifts are um, psychic in nature, like they're hating on that. They're hating on your, your, um, gifts, your abilities. Some of you are tarot card readers and you're dealing with someone who is, um, hating on your abilities, whether you feel like you have an ability or not, they see it, they know it. Someone is angry as hell because they see that you're doing something and um, getting triggered and saying that they, they're like, I, I thought of that first or I did that first, knowing full damn well they got inspired by you. They're saying things and repeating the things that you are saying 
knowing that there's no way that they were um, uh, creative enough to come up with, with what they said, knowing that they got it from you, knowing that they got inspired by you. Yeah, they may be following you on like fake accounts and then like repeating the things that you are saying, acting as if they came up with it first. Look, again, fake friends since the beginning. What does person want to get close to you for? They don't have real friendships. They don't have real loving connections. I'm seeing someone too that may gaslight you. And I, I, yeah, look, and I told you guys, look, you are highly protected, look. And they're mad because you're highly protected. They see that, um, of course, it's like, you know, if the, let's just say the wind blows and um, it's going to knock you back a little bit, but you have that ability to get back up or to steady yourself and they can't stand it. But, um, and, and they're mad that no matter what happens in life, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what they throw at you, they can't knock you down and keep you there. And they're mad. Okay, look, you're good. Your, or sorry, your God-given abilities uh, irritate them. Okay, your light irritates their demons. They're mad that you got it like that with, with spirit. Look, got you all, he got you all fucked, effed up, sis. So this person here, male, female, doesn't matter, um, has got you all effed up. They've been a fake friend since the very beginning and you are highly protected. You may actually be dealing with someone who tries to influence your thoughts the way you think. Look at this again. Look, Bill the Bee, major copycat. You dealing with someone who copies you, copies what you say, gets inspired by you, and acts as if they came up with it first, but knowing full damn well that if you weren't in the picture, if they couldn't copy you, they would fall flat on their ass. Fall flat on their ass. This is also, for some of you, you're dealing with like an ex, and this is their, their current partner. They try to copy you. They try to be like you. They, um, they don't know who they truly are. It's almost as if this person is AI created. They have no soul. I don't know where that came from either, but that's just what I was picking up. Mm. Thank you, Angel. Look, feminine hater. And that's what I was feeling too. This was a feminine. Um, the fem it was a feminine copycat. And even for you divine masculines out there, this could be like a, a feminine. Uh, and it doesn't have to mean that it's a male but it's someone that is a, a feminine, that is in their feminine energy. Someone acting like a little bee. Tell me more, Spirit, what do they need to know? I keep getting hating on your psychic abilities or like your 
God-given spiritual abilities, your spiritual path. Yeah, like, okay, so um, they may be, like, um, sending you, um, like, you could be seeing blackbirds, snakes, rats, things like that. Amethyst is really going to help protect you from this energy. Again, look, a, a, a third deck talking about them being a copycat. Look, trying to be just like you in everything you do. They don't have anything that they stand for on their own. Look, um, to protect your your spiritual gifts, really, um, it, um, and your for psychic protection, uh, keeping amethyst around you is really going to help. Also, like when you're sleeping, keeping amethyst like either under your pillow or by your bedside table is going to help you from any psychic attacks, things like that. If you, for those of you who need it, some of you, they again look again, hating on your spiritual psychic gifts. I keep getting that. This person here does not like that you, and it's like, why would you hate on that? Like, you know the divine is going to handle you. You know spirit is going to handle you. If you hate on someone's spiritual gifts, if you're jealous in any way like that, like, doesn't that tell you that, like, doesn't that make you want to, like, look at yourself and, like, work on yourself? I I mean, like, every, we all have those shadow aspects of ourselves, you know, that, but, but, like when you see that, that you know that that, that is not, you know, um, positive energy. So why not take a look at yourself and think, why am I jealous of this? Why do I feel this insecurity? Do I want to live in this low vibe energy of this insecurity and jealousy and figure out why you're feeling that way and work on yourself? I don't genuinely understand like, I really don't understand why someone would want to stay in that energy. You know, it's one thing to have it come up and then to actually dive into it and work on it. But it's another thing to actually live in that state. I just don't get it. I don't know. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, energy vampire, because this person here lacks, they've got, um, they have got like um, a, a hole in their energy, right? And it's draining from them, okay? And they feel disconnected from source in order to get that energy. They're out of alignment and um, with their connection to source. So they feed off of your energy and drain you of yours to replenish them of their energy because they're not connected to source like you are. They're not connected to the divine like you are. So it's like this person is excessively demanding, demanding your, they want your attention. They want your emotional support. They're trying to drain you of your energy instead of getting it from the divine, instead of getting it from source which is an unlimited supply of energy. Way too many cards. But look, you are following your uh, authentic path, okay? You are being authentic in yourself and in your path and, and with the divine and with others. And they envy that. They envy the connection that you have with the divine. Like, they may actually be jealous of the things you have, like your material items, okay? They may be actually jealous of what you own. You could be dealing with a water sign, some of you are dealing with a water sign or someone that has water in their chart, or they're just um, a, a lot of, like, emotions that are running deep here. Or, yeah, again, you could be dealing with a water sign. You could have water in your chart, or this is just a very emotional situation, yeah, like this person may want you to feel paranoid. This person may want you feeling anxious, paranoid, um, fearful. But look, karma's a B, okay? And we also, I also even quite literally said the words backfire, did I not? 
And look, has backfired. I know it's backwards, but the evil eye they sent your way has backfired. It's backfiring on them because they look, they got you effed up. They were fake from the beginning and they got you effed up and they're about to receive their karma. They're about to receive what they've put out into the world is coming right back at them because there is spirit. And I'm hearing Archangel Michael has put forth this energetic um, a mirror around you so whatever people send to you is going to bounce off of you and right back at them so if they send you love oh they're gonna get so much love back but if they send you hate jealousy insecurities negative energy whatsoever that shit's coming right back at them because they got you effed up it's coming right back at them and then you can't say, oh, well, I forgive them, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not about you. You can forgive them all you want, and that's great. You should forgive them. You should forgive them and, and send them love because that's going to come right back to you. The love and the light that you send out into the world is going to come right back to you, baby. But they are not sending love and light out to you. This is their own doing, and they're causing their own destruction. Not you, not your forgiveness. It's out of your hands. You guys may also be seeing like dark figures, dark shadows, small, big, it doesn't matter. Okay, right here. Look, again, there's that copycat again. Some of you, this is like actually your significant other. This is your romantic partner. That, and they don't even realize that they're sending you this negativity. They don't realize that they're sending you this evil eye energy. And that they're draining you. This person may copy things that you say. They hear you say it and then repeat it and don't even really know what it means. Again, the amethyst is coming up again. Some you okay, so some of you may be dealing with headaches or feeling lightheaded, and it's coming from this evil eye energy. So if you notice like randomly, like you get a headache, whether it stays or not, if you notice random dizzy spells and there's no medical condition that's causing it, it's um it's coming from you picking up on this energy being sent to you so make sure that um spirit really kept bringing up the amethyst okay and um and i'm gonna get you guys a Archangel Michael message since I heard Archangel Michael's name. Oh, you guys, uh, I want to share with you guys an amazing experience. So I went um, grocery shopping Friday night and like I always hear like messages for others. Like, you know, um, and it's so hard for me to like get a message for myself and I've never actually picked up with my Claire audience ability um, a message for me and for the first time I actually heard a message just for me well it's not the first time but it's the first time that I knew that it was for me since I started embracing my gifts the past several years um, when I was a kid I heard it all the time when I was younger but um, and it was so amazing but I want to point out, I said I felt drawn to use this deck, right? And look, on the bottom of the deck, and I was talking about you sending light and love out into the world and getting it back. And look, here you are. Spirit saying to continue to spread your light into the world. Archangel Michael is saying continue to share your light with the world so that they can learn from you. No matter how much is sent towards you, continue to be that source of light in the world. Ooh, baby, this is, mm. thank you, 
Archangel Michael, be by my side as I deliver this message from you. Please come through in the highest good and give a message to those souls that actually need this message. Okay, look, trust in the divine. I've got, I'm starting to get goosebumps and I feel like I want to cry. And the thing is, is that um, I was seeing the seven of pentacles in my mind's eye when I was talking about, you know, as you send that light and love into the world, you'll receive it right back. So, um, and then I saw, you know, that message about uh, continuing just to be that light. And then we've got this card is number 34, which in numerology would reduce to a seven. And it's a card of, it says, trust in divine purpose. Okay, so it's saying this experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on the path of growth or on a path of growth. Okay, so it's like you may not understand it now. Okay, but continue to trust in spirit. Continue to trust the divine to lead you where you need to go. To be, um, to follow that, that inner light within you. Okay, that this, what, what you're currently going through with this person, with these haters, it, it's part of your plan. <clears throat> and I know that it may not make sense now, but it will. And Spirit is saying to just continue to trust. Archangel Michael is saying, trust me. Let me guide you. Okay, let my light guide you through the darkness, through these dark times right now. Know that you will find healing in this situation okay and then we got card number 11 so um and uh some of you could be seeing sevens you could be seeing ones okay but spirit is saying embrace this magical moment okay you are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles allow your wishes to be filled uh, fulfilled Okay, so I also want to read the book, but this is just like intuitively what I'm picking up here as soon as I figure out where I, there it is. Um, so um, Spirit is saying that even that you're in the perfect energetic space. So, and I literally was talking about how I was seeing uh, the um, uh, energetic mirrors around you. Okay, so it's like you are in this perfect energetic space, meaning nothing can come to you. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. That's what I just heard too. So this energy here of this hater or this person trying to drag you down, um, whoever this is for you, like you're in the perfect energetic space, no matter where you are, no matter what storm you're in, you're in the perfect energetic space because you are protected. Archangel Michael saying, trust me, you're in the right space. No matter what it feels like, no matter what chaos is going on around you, you know, I am your peace in that storm and I'm guiding you. I'm protecting you. So continue to do you. Continue to manifest what it is that you desire. Because every wish that you want is going to be fulfilled. Be authentic and have trust. That's what I'm intuitively picking up from these cards. So um, let's look here and see what the cards are saying. Okay. Archangel Michael is saying, Dear darling child, I know that you have experienced emotional wounds during this human experience. It is my intention to help soothe your heart as you recover from these challenges. Source is pouring pure white light of healing down upon you to help you come to a place of peace as quickly as possible. It will take a little time. But there's no doubt that you will heal, okay? So, um, Archangel Michael wants you to know that that he knows that you are confused and that he realizes that you are fearful or can be fearful, anxious or can be anxious. Those times when you are sad or heartbroken, but he is asking you to trust him, okay? There is a reason you are going through what you're currently going through, even if it's not anything to do with this hater. Okay, even if it's not anything to do with relationships and people outside of you, whatever it is that you're going through, understand that this is happening to you now for a reason. And that even though you don't understand it now, there will come a time that you will. One day you're going to see the divine purpose underlining your growth 
you, you're gonna have like that aha moment, those moment, that moment of realization. You're gonna be able to connect the dots. And when you do see the light, you'll realize it was all divinely orchestrated to take you to the next step of your dreams coming true. Feeling a sense of happiness, making and manifesting miracles because you're in the, the, the perfect energetic space no matter what it feels like. You're protected. Okay. Let's see. And... There are times in every soul's human experience when the perfect energy comes together for all your dreams to come true. You can call it the stars aligning or having a run of good luck, but however you phrase it, the result is the same. It's pure magic. The truth is this kind of energy is always available to you no matter what you're going through. No matter what you're going through, it's always available to you. Okay, you just aren't aware of how to tap into it, but occasionally you accidentally shift into the space of manifesting what you truly want. And then there's no stopping you. Nothing can hold you back from the magical life you deserve. Nothing can stop you. You're all the way up. Okay, I wish I could tell you that this will last forever. But it's not usually the case in the human experience. Okay, so there. So. Here's my advice, Archangel Michael is saying, take advantage of this moment, ride the wave. Don't question how or why things are happening, just allow it to unfold. Make as many wishes as you can and keep the faith around each one. Because in the end, that's all this is about, faith. Now go, 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 go make magic. Damn, this message was truly powerful. I love this message. Started out kind of rocky, kind of scary maybe. But um, if you made it all the way through, I know this is for you. And I'm so excited for you. And I'm truly honored, Archangel Michael, to deliver this message to those souls that found this. And I want to take a moment to say how truly honored I am to you and to the collective. And... Um, I don't really know what else to say because it's just like such a, it's like I feel so much power within me from you guys. Like I'm sensing like this sense of pride and power and like you guys ready to like take on the world and like being pumped up and knowing that you have a purpose. I feel like there are times when you do get that way, like you get pumped up, like you can feel that power, but you just don't know what to do with it. You know, it's like, oh my God, we're going to change the world or oh my God, I'm going to change the world, but you just don't know how or where to start. And you just start by feeling it, embracing it, and knowing that you're a part of something that's so much bigger than yourself. This is what I have for you guys. And the divine in me honors and bows to the divine in you. Namaste.